and the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. If that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day to observe and to do them. How should one chase a thousand, and two put ten thousand to flight, except their rock had sold them, and the Lord had shut them up? There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. One man of you shall chase a thousand, for the Lord your God, he it is that fighteth for you, as he hath promised you. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained strength, because of thine enemies, that thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger. Through thee will we push down our enemies. Through thy name will we tread them under that rise up against us. He shall subdue the people under us, and the nations under our feet. Say unto God, How terrible art thou in thy works! Through the greatness of thy power shall thine enemies submit themselves unto thee. Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered, let them also that hate him flee before him. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Is not this the fast that I have chosen, to loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free, and that ye break every yoke? So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. Then he called his twelve disciples together, and gave them power and authority over all devils, and to cure diseases. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. So mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. To open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light, and from the power of Satan unto God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to usward who believe, according to the working of his mighty power, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead, and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. Neither give place to the devil. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints and in nothing terrified by your adversaries, which is to them an evident token of perdition, but to you of salvation and that of God. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth. Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness, and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son? And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is, the devil, 
and deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. For as much then as Christ hath suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that hath suffered in the flesh hath ceased from sin. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. He that committeth sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. We know that whosoever is born of God sinneth not, but he that is begotten of God keepeth himself, and that the wicked one toucheth him not. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death.